Wow, well, this is a video about kidney stones. And this lighting here looks kind of dark. I think I'll move to the living room. Well, my wife's over there, so we'll just start here for a little bit. I can't see anything. It looks so blurry. With or without the glasses. Okay, I think this is better. <clears throat> Anyways. Uh, excuse me for sounding like garbage, but it's been a week of hell. Um, so. Let's start over. <clears throat> so. Um, 16 years ago, I had this humongous pain. I freaked out. I thought it was appendicitis. Because um, I'd, I'd seen my cousin in uh, in Chile go through that while I was there on vacation once. And um, her appendix burst. That's what appendicitis is. And if you don't get to the hospital in time, you, your, your um, stomach fluids will kill you very quickly. It's poison. Poison to the blood system, poison to your organs. Um, so, anyways, uh, 16 years ago, I rushed to the hospital, and um, I couldn't drink anything. They didn't let me drink. Oh, like now, I could hardly swallow. But <clears throat> so, um, huge pain. You feel like you're dying. I mean, literally, you're you don't know where the pain's coming from that time it was just pain all over no matter what position you get into it doesn't go away you can try to grab yourself and try to feel maybe any pressure on your body might take the pain or alleviate a little bit leave the pain a little in it nothing nothing happens so i could hardly swallow <clears throat> but excuse me <clears throat> So, so, 16 years ago, rushed to the hospital. Uh, they did um, ultrasound and uh, some x-rays, and they saw I had two kidney stones. <clears throat> so, sorry this is taking so long. <laughs> but this is the result of a week of being destroyed by kidney stones. But 16 years ago, I just have to vlog this, you know, for history purposes. History purpose, historical purposes. I want to have this on video uh, to remember, to never forget, and um, to help others. Let to to help you understand what's going on and um, to know what to expect. Because when you know what to expect, uh, it's not that bad. But, <clears throat> so, I was rushed to the hospital, x-rays, ultrasound, they see these two um, kidney stones. And uh, they tell me, listen, uh, um, we can either take them out or just let them pass. They're not lodged, so they're going through the course. Um, uh, one of them's halfway down to the bladder. And it doesn't, um, your, the canal is expanding. And the canal is the size of a hair. Imagine a hair. Take, take one of your hairs. That's how thick that canal is. And then you have a, a bean or a rock about this big going through there. That's why you bleed. <clears throat> but um, 16 years ago, I didn't bleed. Um, took about two months. I was off and I had, I was rushed to the hospital three times in total. Uh, one time was the first time, the other two was at work, um, at work in a call center. Um, at the time was a supervisor there and uh, people didn't know what to do, people freaked out. And because I was rolling on the ground, I couldn't say anything and, and uh, the pain is so bad, you, you just, uh, 
the sound comes from you from deep within you're like oh oh you can you're rolling around it's horrible it's pretty scary for other people to see but um a lot of people uh get really sick like stomach wise they throw up they vomit uh i have a thing with vomiting so i control it i i, I do counterclockwise um motions like this deep deep into the stomach and that pushes it the other way believe it or not I had a bad experience vomiting when I was 13 years old and I never want to go through that again but anyways <clears throat> you get a lot of acid reflex um, uh, so I'm sorry this is taking this on so long I can't, I can't talk um, much my throat is killing me and I'm well a miracle happened today, which is fantastic. So I definitely feel better than I have all week. But all right, so that was 16 years ago. It took two months. I went to the hospital three times. Um, when they put when they put the IV on you, that just feels great. The morphine, the fluid that goes into you, that really feels fantastic. It takes the pain away, and you knock out instantly. <clears throat> so. Um, they gave me, uh, I think 16 years ago, with morphine um, in pill form to take home. So whenever the pain would start, I would take it, but it would still take about 20, 30 minutes before the pills kicked in. And then you knock out. It's a huge high. Uh, and But you always feel the pressure all over your body. This time they gave me Flomax, uh, Norco, um, 325 uh, milligrams, Flomax, um, 0.4 milligrams and ibuprofen uh, 800 milligrams and more I Motrin at uh, 1200 milligrams um, I didn't know that was in the anyways <clears throat> so all right so that was last time it took took about two months uh, they gave me gave, the, the urologist gave me a little strainer um, and you urinate into the strainer and catch the rocks it was uh, calcium back then so this time very strange I go to the hospital severe pain three in the morning um, still freaking out because the last thing I want is appendicitis <clears throat> if you have that too long if you're not that isn't taken care of right away oh, I have to take off the glasses for some reason I get headaches now with the glasses um, ever since I got these kidney stones, but anyway, anyways, um, so I went to the hospital, um, they wanted to do a CT scan right away, and I told them, listen, 16 years ago, I told the doctor, a very young doctor, um, she slurred on a few of the technical words, and she must have been like 24 years old, and I thought, oh my God. You know, this is the person who's taking care of me. <laughs> He's like, oh, without a CT scan, we can't see what's going on. It's like, listen, how did I have a x-ray done so many years ago, 16 years ago, and it, it, you could see I'm fine. Well, we could do whatever you want. We don't have to force you to take a CT scan. So she kind of took it personal, which is strange. But um, I just refused to take a CT scan because the amount of radiation... Uh, one CT scan equals about 70 uh, x-rays, standard x-rays. Um, or seven years of the normal radiation you would get as a human with a few, you know, standard x-rays. The average over seven years on one CT scan. <clears throat> and a friend of mine told me he had two already. That's ridiculous. No wonder so many people die of cancer. But anyways. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is terrible. I'm going to try to edit this as much as possible. I have tons of videos I haven't uploaded. Thank you, everyone. Uh, thank you to all my subscribers. I appreciate it. <clears throat> uh, all the weird things I put up there. But this is, uh, this is one that I thought it was important. And I never have time for editing or anything. And I had a week home. A week at home. And I couldn't do anything. So sick. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs>
bad when you sneeze it hurts because you feel like you've been beat up you ever get into a brawl with a few people I have when I was young and when you have a lot of people punching body punching it uh, for weeks you feel the, the pain the bruising all over and that's what it feels like now but anyways <clears throat> sneezing or coughing hurts all over <clears throat> but anyways okay so so they didn't they want to do a CT scan I didn't do it um, and for some you know she took it personal after a few hours I, you know I asked them they did the urine samples as well you know we can't see anything on the x-rays and we and the, I, I told you like I told you attitude <laughs> couldn't believe it and uh, but, but you know you have lots of blood in your urine so um, and, um, I'm diagnosing it as kidney stones I said well could it be anything else I mean if you tell me I need to do the CT scan I'll do it I'll do the CT scan but let's be sure what's going on no 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 it's it's definitely kidney stones like I think she saw one in the x-rays and uh, uh, you know I guess the uh, they get a kickback on the CT scans you know a nice dollar for uh, refer for referrals of CT scans I guess Local businesses uh, need more CT scans to pay for the equipment and make money. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, that's what it sounded like. Kind of obvious, but <clears throat> what do I know? So, so I don't get the CT scan, and um, I'm passed out. I pass out at the hospital, wake up, and I'm just like dying. Oh my! I'm I'm ready to explode in urine. <laughs> Because I had had the IV pumping two bags into me. Um, and I ran to the bathroom. This didn't happen 16 years ago. And I just urinated a lot. And I thought I'd see blood. I'd see things like that. Something come out. But nothing. So, <clears throat> uh, so I'm, I, I take these pills. I go, you know, I go pick them up. Um, I'm drowsy the whole time. Um urologist was a few days later but anyways the pain was excruciating it didn't stop it didn't stop so I had to take these pills which would knock me out just one pill would knock me out all day and I'd feel the pain but not as heavy and when it, when I felt that the, it was uh, the, the medication was wearing off I would have to uh, take the ibuprofen but I started with the, 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 the over-the-counter 300 milligrams I think or something took three or four of those at a time because I wanted to save those 800 milligrams for the emergencies um, and take the other heavy um, narcotic pills when the pain got close to when I knew it was elevating because they, they only gave me five pills and um, I want to make sure I didn't run out <clears throat> so I was using my resources wisely because <laughs> the pain is disgusting so I mean, uh, there's nothing like it, I think. I think you can cut someone's arm off and look at it and just be okay with the pain because <laughs> the adrenaline would just, um, for some reason, uh, you know, and I do really well with pain. Um, I've broken fingers. Uh, I've broken this finger. I didn't go to the hospital because I was young and I didn't, I didn't want to go to the hospital. I've always been against hospitals, but look at that. Um, I healed it myself, broken finger. So I can handle pain, but this pain is just like, ugh. Anyways, the pain is excruciating. And you know women have had kidney stones, and they say it's ten times worse than giving birth. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm exaggerating, but I've heard that is far worse than giving birth. <clears throat> so, anyways, just you're, you feel nauseous. You just So I slept so much all week, and, and you know, and I... And I'd get up and I'd just be hungry, super hungry. I'd get the munchies. And and you're like, God, why I can't eat because you feel bloated anyways, but you're so hungry. You got to eat. It's just me. That's my experience. I had to eat. Um, and then I'd feel bad and then it's just diarrhea and uh, nausea. But, you know, I handled the nausea really well. I'd push it down and but it all comes out the other side. But it was just the strangest thing. How, you know, I've gotten flus before. Um, when, when you get a stomach flu, you just lose hunger. You just don't want to eat. But I think this was the drugs. The narcotics make me really hungry. So um, I'd wake up and just 
want to eat. And then the pain would start kicking in again shortly after because the, the pills were out. I'd have to take more ibuprofen, Motrin, uh, and, and just a cycle. And every day, the days just flew by, flew by. I couldn't do anything, you know. I couldn't see my kids. I was just, oh, my God, hell, living hell. Um, so totally different from last time. Uh, so I went to see a urologist and he took my blood and, and, um, later on told me I have uh, high levels of lead. And, and you know, what came to mind was the fact that three months ago I started uh, eating those Fred Flintstone vitamins, the chewables. I love those things. They're like candies and I would eat three or four a day. And I think that's what did it. And I asked him, hey, do you think the, uh, this caused the high levels of lead? And could be. <laughs> that was the doctor's answer. <laughs> could be. But if uh, um, <clears throat> the only thing we can do about the pain is uh, let's open you up. Let's do some surgery. <laughs> oh, my God. Everyone's out for, for a buck. Um. <clears throat> and then he told me, well, you got to have that CT scan. <clears throat> you got to get that CT scan, and uh, that'll do it. We can find out exactly where it is, how big it is. Oh, my God. And I told him the same thing. Can't you see the x-rays? No, no, can't see it for some reason. 16 years ago, they could see it just fine, but now they can't. Um, I'm sure they saw it. But anyways, got the uh, CT scan. I had to go to two CT scans. The second one, it was bigger. The first one was like a little box. I couldn't couldn't stand being in it. Um, it also felt like I was going to explode, and I needed to take uh, more ibuprofen. That didn't work, and I took um, <clears throat> took the uh, the other pills, the narcotics, knocked me out. And when I woke up, oh, before that, very important, you got to drink a lot of cranberry juice. That helps cranberry juice. Um, and coconut water. I think, you know, my wife brought me some coconut water. I drank the whole thing, and I think that's what helped because I finally, I was, you know, I was in the bathroom and just, uh, I, I, should, I don't want to describe it, but it was very bad, very nasty. And I think I passed it because I was scheduled for, uh, I was going to be scheduled for uh, <laughs> surgery tomorrow. And I let the doctor know I'm good. No surgery. Because the CT scan showed that the the uh, stones were large. And it was just not one stone. But it was uh, a bunch of bits going through there. Um, and maybe it was crushed because during one of the like seizures I was having. It's like a seizure you're having. You're just totally out of control. I started punching my, my sides. I felt the pain on both sides and um, maybe I crushed one of them <laughs> but anyways he told me that it was, they were going to have to open me up that the ultrasound and all the other techniques would just be a waste of time uh, and very expensive um, so that's my story I let them out and now I, I feel much better I don't feel that pressure I've been off the pills for a few hours and um no pain, no pain. I am so happy, but I feel um, I just have to have this weekend to recuperate and have to go back back to work on Monday. But a whole week just disappeared. What a waste of time! All this pain. Uh, a totally different experience from last time. Last time I didn't have pain for a week, and then I would get it again, and then a few days and slightly slight pain. You know, and I could work, and I could focus. <clears throat> I didn't wear glasses back then, but now when I put my glasses on, for some reason, they just annoy me. And after a few minutes, I get a horrible headache. But anyways, that's what's to ex uh, that's what you should expect. Uh, my two, you know, I'm 45 now. I'm a lot older. I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but it was very different from last time. Um, it took two months. This this time, it took a week. Um, and I think I'm 100%. Although my throat hurts. I start to drink lots of fluid, and I feel like, uh, oh, and another thing, uh, last time I didn't feel the, uh, the body aches like a flu, 
like the flu, like it was like when you have a flu. I had fever twice this time. Last time I didn't have a fever. This time, uh, two two fevers. Uh, one came really close to having to go to the hospital. Um, but I might have had fever more often than I realized, because I was sleeping through it, and I was really cold. <clears throat> so. hard to even swallow, but anyways, um, <clears throat> so that's a story, um, lemon juice is good for kidney stones, uh, pure lemon juice with water, but you know what, I've been taking, I've been drinking, uh, apple cider vinegar with mothers, okay, look that up, apple cider, organic apple cider vinegar with mothers, and that hasn't helped for some reason, it's very strange that I would get these kidney stones, but I think it's those uh, Fred Flintstone vitamins for kids. Um, I don't know, but you know, please comment if you've had this experience. What do you think about Fred Flintstone vitamins? What do you think about the narcotics that, that my son's waking up? Thanks for watching Mobile Freedom Enterprise. Have a great day. Okay, well, I'm back. Sorry. Uh, I was my son waking up and uh, my wife sleeping. Uh, she's been great um, through all this. And, um, well, thanks for watching. <laughs> I just had some apple cider vinegar to try to clear the throat. Um, and uh, you drink that straight up. Don't mix it with water if you can. Um, I read all over the the internet. There's so many uh, so many opinions, but the strongest opinion are from the uh, all types of physicians that say you could just drink it straight up, a little glass, little cup, like half a cup, not even like half a quarter quarter of a cup, <clears throat> quarter of a cup of apple cider vinegar. Uh, don't drink iced tea. I love iced tea. I, this time I'm stopping for good. Um, no more Fred Flintstone vitamins. Well, anyways, um, I have to go back to the urologist. He has to take another blood sample in about a week or two. Um, because the, the high lead could be something far more serious. Um, but I'm almost sure it's the, uh, the vitamins I've been taking. Uh, cause my very healthy person, it's just the kidney stones. And it's all because of uh, the dr I drank, um, never drink any water. I never drink water. Uh, I can't stand the water uh, from the, the, the bottling companies, uh, the kind you get at Walmart or Publix. They all have added minerals and chemicals. For some reason, I can taste it, doesn't sound crazy. And spring water just tastes like thick, like milk. I don't like spring water. So I found this place nearby that sells uh, just filtered water no more additives um, I believe one of the drinking waters that public sells is the same way but I, I like this place that we found here in uh, Davie um, it's a machine 25 cents fills up the gallon and the water just tastes fantastic no added it's just filtered no added minerals or anything to taste like those bottles that you get real cheap we get 24 bottles 30 36 bottles don't drink that stuff. Yeah, I doubt it's, you know, 20 years from now we'll hear, oh, this water causes cancer or whatever. <laughs> <clears throat> but anyways, after um, a week, almost a week, uh, I feel much better past the stones. And, you know, it's weird. Um, I didn't actually see the stone come out, but there was lots of blood. And, you know, I was pooping. <laughs> so... I'm not gonna go investigating, but um, I could see uh, like crystal uh, pieces of crystal, so that verifies that um, you know uh, what the urologist was saying um, with the CT scan that one of them was uh, you could it's kind of like destroyed it and found in different places. Um, and as for the large one, I don't know. Um, oh, that's... <clears throat> I'm glad we're back. But uh, first time I had kidney stones, I was dreading 
having to pee out those stones. And back then they said they were medium sized. Um, because you ever get a, a hair in, uh, I've never had a catheter put in, the, in my penis, <laughs> but um, I've had a you know hair sometimes finds its way through the um, penis, the opening, and let me tell you that is painful. You know, a tiny little hair in that. Imagine having a, a rock <laughs> come through there. So um, 16 years ago, I was fearing that pain. I was dreading that pain. Maybe that's why it took two two months. Uh, but um, when it came out, it just whoosh, came right out. I didn't feel any pain. It just came right out into the strainer. And they were like, like this big, about, one was solid black, and the other one was crystallized, looked like um, um, salt, granules of salt all crushed together. Um, this time, I saw the granules of salt, like, looking stuff all over, and there was another big one, and, but this time, I, there was blood. Last time I didn't have any blood. This time I had blood, and I felt that pain. That it, it, luckily it came rushing out with the urine, and it just. But it was um, burning, horrid burning. I, like they took a flamethrower on the inside of your body and, and blew it out the front. <laughs> uh, it's horrible. <clears throat> Kidney stones are living hell. Talk about pain. This time was far worse than last time. So anyone out there who wants to know about kidney stones, have a healthy diet. Drink lots of water. Drink at least half a gallon a day. And your favorite juice with fat. But from now on, I'm forcing myself to forcing myself to drink lots of water. I can't drink any more iced tea. And that Publix tea, you have that Publix tea, the sweet one? Oh, my God, it's so good because it's nice and thin. It's not thick. It, it tastes like flavored water, if you know what I mean. You know, lots of juices. You could feel the thickness of the juice. I mean, I love orange, orange juice, but... Um, Talking about those uh, those fake juice, ten percent natural juices. Apple juice is fantastic, but it's also th kind, of, kind of thick compared to iced tea. Iced tea is just fantastic, but stay away from iced tea. The calcium in that'll kill you. That's what gives you these kidney stones. Anyways, thanks so much for watching Mobile Freedom Enterprise. This was a vlog of uh, a week in severe pain with kidney stones. All right, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please comment. Any information you want to share with me about those Fred, uh, Fred Flintstone vitamins? Uh, has anyone experienced that? Uh, it's just a theory I have. Uh, the ur urologist doesn't want to confirm or he doesn't know, but we'll find out once I get the blood work again. And um, oh, and the other thing is, I, I'm I wasn't going, I'm going to go digging for these stones this time. So um, I'm a. Uh, it's going to be a mystery what I had. Uh, we'll see if uh, the urologist can figure it out so, some other way through the blood blood work. But, um, yeah, it's a bunch of little pieces anyways. The big one, I don't know where it was, and I'm not going to go digging for it. That's disgusting. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching Mobile Freedom Enterprise. And uh, thumbs up, please. Subscribe and uh, comment. All right? Thanks so much for watching.